plan for this trip is we're gonna be leaving on a little bit different time schedule. You know, we're gonna be leaving about 6 30, 7 p.m., gonna head over to San Clemente Island. Uh, we're gonna try to make some of these flying fish that some of these commercial guys have been doing and some of the big sport boats have been doing. And we're gonna do that all night, and then we're gonna start our morning off with some flat fall fishing, and then after that, we're gonna do some uh, balloon fishing, some kite fishing. Kind of see what conditions you know are ahead of us and we'll start from there and figure out what we're going to do but most likely it's going to be the balloon or the chitin balloon flying that dead flying fish right on top of the surface pretty cool it's about one o'clock in the morning we're cruising the island we got our lights out and uh the flying fish are cruising around we got some seals in hot pursuit of them and us we've got three in the boat so far no. Oh! <laughs> no one <laughs> the weapon of choice is a giant butterfly net. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. But it's uh, yeah, it's fun. They're cruising, they're zipping around. You got to be a little faster, a little smarter than the fish, and they're really attracted to the lights, so they come zinging at the boat. So. <laughs> I got one too. I got one too. to do with this flying fish is we actually let it out on the surface slowly that way it has a natural presentation and we're actually on top of a spot of fish right now so this just might happen both of us are releasing the line at the same speed where we can get that flying fish to skip across nicely to give it a really nice presentation and that way it just kind of attracts more bites attracts more fish and obviously the end goal is to Catch a big tuna. Growing up in northern Michigan, obviously the saltwater is saltwater fishing is something that we don't get to experience very often. It's kind of far away from us on all sides of the coast. It's really special today to have a shot at a fish of a lifetime, let alone be able to battle it one on one, you know, me versus the fish, and get this thing in the boat. Yeah, it's a very special moment with a very special fish, and uh, to say the least, I'm pretty excited to be able to catch something of this caliber and catch a beautiful fish like this. So. Very cool. Very stoked. Alright guys, uh, we have something special for Kobe here. Um, the California tradition is your first tuna that you catch, you're supposed to eat the heart. Hey, Dude, just take a bite on the tip and chew it and Cheers. swallow it. To my good friend, thank you for sacrificing. Not too bad. Yay! This is Mother Nature's at its finest right here. What you have is some anchovies kind of balling up right now because they're scared. They're scared because they know there's some bigger fish around, you know, which is that big bluefin tuna right now. We're gonna be real patient here and they're gonna pop up again. So that's the name of the game, it's just a little bit of patience, you know, wait for these fish to come attack that bait ball once again. And you know what, we're gonna get our there shot. Are, so. to the right side. Oh, we're gonna man. blow in whale. We got tuna with the whale. So we just tried to get my drone up in the air. He's still there, he's still there, he's still there. We made it about six inches and then hit the bag and went overboard. And now we got a shark that beelined it like 50 yards Roddy, to come get our... Roddy, take it! 
There you go. When he's oh. We hooked a giant shark right after I jumped in the water after the drone. Definitely a shark was after me. And he chewed off the other hook. 400 pounds of line. No match for a freaking giant shark. Stealthily creep up on this giant pod of monster bluefin Pacific tuna. And a moment like this is something that I've dreamt of since I was a kid. I was reading all the long range stories from all the old school guys catching 100 to 300 pound plus tuna. And I've been uh, thinking non stop since the last time we did this about getting back out of here and doing everything within my control to put myself there, right? in this situation to hopefully have a shot at a fish of a lifetime. Arm up! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Look at this thing up! Holy crap! You still got it on? Ron, you want to get up here? Yeah. Good yeah. thing I checked your back properly. Look at the picture. There's a Mako right there too. You know, I was starting to lose focus when we stopped on those last two or three pods. And I actually made really good casts, you know, and they didn't bite. I was like, oh man, I might have missed my window. Here we are, persistence. Oh, look, look, look. That was just a gentle gap. That's <laughs> where he was. One more. I just had this really bad headache and figure I'd uh, make a couple casts, clear my mind, and uh, something good happened. <laughs> Look at, see all this? This is from the line rubbing against the fish as it's pulling away from me on the fight. And during the fight, they, they're so powerful, they rip out. Did you see that? And a lot of times you end up snagging them as they're swimming away once those initial hooks rip out. It's important to have super sharp hooks, the right hardware, because it ups your landing percentage. So stoked to get this on the boat. So, it was a good day. I would say so. It was a really, really good day. It was probably day. the most insane day of tuna <laughs> fishing I've ever experienced in my life. I was pretty magical. I mean, it was downright nutty at times. Yeah. We wanted a double hookup. We got that. We got that. <laughs> I wanted drone footage. Didn't get, didn't get that. that. Oh. Um, I wanted a big one on the pencil bait on the top water. Did get that. Hook two. Got one. Got one. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. Yeah. But we got to share an incredible experience with some of my best friends here. Oh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the journey and the day. It was downright incredible. First so thing. Cool. Thank you guys for joining along. Thank you, Kobe, for having faith, man. Thank you to the team, to the cat. This guy, this guy. Thanks to thanks this guy. Thanks for coming along. You know, big tuna dreams, making it all happen. It was just an incredible experience. Every single day is different, and uh, we don't know what to expect, but we're grateful for every single one of our experiences. Be alive, baby. Be alive. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Good stuff.